Hi guys, I'm Lou Urich, health and body image coach at louis.com, and today I want to talk to you about the eye candy diet. Now, eye candy is basically things that are visually appealing, they're attractive and entertaining, but they don't have any further value. There's nothing substantial about them, nothing below the surface. And in the eye candy diet, we're going to talk about the things you put before your eyes, the things that you probably look at millions of times a day and refer to often like Facebook and Instagram, Pinterest, Twitter, blogs and email newsletters, all the things that are a part of your visual world and things that you reference quite often throughout the day. Now, most diets begin with deprivation, right? Well, the eye candy diet is no different. So what I'd love for you to restrict is the things that simply look good on the outside but haven't proven to be beneficial to you inside, which quite often can mean things like Fitspo and Thinspiration, uh, Pinterest boards of diet meal plans, and quick fix gimmicks on how to get flat abs or a lifted backside that you find in magazines, publications that tell you how easy it is to lose weight or look a certain way, have a certain life, but actually amount to very little. And while I'm talking a lot about food and body because I'm a health and body image coach, this could refer to anything in your life where you struggle with a desire for perfectionism or you simply want to improve. Your motivation or intention to follow the resources that you do might have been great, but if they're proving to only disappoint, upset, and distract you, then they're not helpful for you, and it's time to let them go. On the eye candy diet, what I'd like you to do is unfollow, unsubscribe, delete, and move on from the things that aren't serving you, that aren't empowering you or encouraging you. And... Since diets usually often require something of you too, like rigorous workouts or to choke down a shake or some supplements, I have something for you to add as well. What I'd like you to add is soul food. Instead of all the things that were dragging you down, the eye candy that looked good and you had a great motivation to follow in the first place but they turned out to only be making you feel like crap, I want you to start looking for people and places and publications that make you happy, that uplift you, and that are aware of how valuable and worthy you are without any hustling or any striving or anything you have to do on your part to proclaim or display your self-worth. I want you to follow people in the holistic health, body positive, self-care and self-love world. People who basically make a living out of their passion for encouraging others to be the best that they can and to go out and live their dreams and pursue their goals not because they're perfect but because they're enough because they're awesome just the way they are i love the community i'm a part of and there are so many people that are a part of my own eye candy diet people who i follow to be encouraged and empowered day in and day out and if you're a part of my newsletter then on the 15th you are going to get my list of my 15 favorite voices in the body positive, holistic health, and self-care world. People who podcast or blog or have great Facebook groups or Instagram accounts that just encourage me and make me feel good, and I'm sure they'll make you feel awesome too. They can be a great supplement in your eye candy diet. Now, if you're not already receiving my newsletter, you're going to want to get that, and you can get it at louis.com. That's L U E A T S.com. And just sign up for Lou Notes, and you'll be a part of my newsletter group, my tribe, as I like to call them. And on the 15th, you're going to receive every month my 15 favorites. And this month, you're not going to want to miss because it's going to be great additions to your diet. However, I'm not the expert on you, you are which means your eye candy diet could remove and add many different things from mine or anyone else listening to this vlog. I guess watching this vlog is more like it. It's my first time, guys. Bear with me. So, like I was saying, you're the expert on you. I can't tell you who to delete and who to follow. I can't tell you what to read and what to watch. 
only you know what makes you truly feel passionate and alive and excited and worthy and what makes you feel bad and crappy and like you're hustling for your worthiness all the time. I want you to be the expert in your own life, to be your own health and diet guru. So our diets might look different, but that doesn't mean I don't want to hear who makes you come alive, who excites you, empowers, and encourages you. So please, in the comments below or on my blog or Instagram, let me know who you're following and maybe why you love them. Link me up to the things that you like because maybe I'll add them to my diet too. And if not, it's just a fun way to get to know my audience of my first ever vlog. So guys, that's it. That's the eye candy diet. It's really simple. Get rid of the things that you're putting before you that aren't uplifting you and that aren't encouraging and empowering you, the eye candy, and instead add some soul food to your life. Empowerment, encouragement, and positive thinking, and just awesomeness. I'm at a loss for words, which means it's probably time to go. So Happy dieting, everybody.